I'm yeah. just saying, if you were a restaurant and there was a comments card, I would draw a dick on it. I'm Amelia de Moldenberg, and I am a celebrity brand visionary. So I take your brand and I catapult it to the next level. You are enough. Every day you slay. You're really good at your job. You deserve to be employee of the month. Every month. Jimmy, hi. I'm meant to be here for a, a rebrand, meeting someone called Amelia. That is me. Welcome to my office. Please come over. I'm Amelia de Moldenberg, and I am a celebrity brand visionary. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm I'm uh, I'm open to that. Okay. Um, I know Channel Four are doing that kind of rebranding thing. So, can I ask who, what your background is? My background is in branding. Before I get into the rebrand, mm. I need to get to know you a bit better. Sure. Okay, so I've got a few questions. Shoot. Right, how would you describe your brand? I'm a comedian. Comedian, I mean... are you sure about that? Well, yeah. I guess I'm a TV presenter and a comedian, so okay. yeah, a mix of those two things. Right, so I'll write down comedian, question mark. I heard you have like a, a tip or a trick to make you look less severe. I think comedically you can do stuff, but I mean, in everyday life, that you're just going to have to work with that, aren't you? Oh, okay. I was. I thought that was maybe like, you know, subjective. Oh no, you you got right. like resting bitch face, yeah. Okay. Um, but I can't I... be the first person that's told you that, right? No, no, not no. First person today, but not not in general. But I think you've got to lean into that. If that's your if that's your thing. Um. So you're a dad now. Yes. Yes, I became a father. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. I just had to fuck my girlfriend. It was pretty easy. I didn't, need, I didn't need to know that. Well, I mean, you know how babies are made, right? Didn't need to know that. Can you count how many times people have tried to cancel you? Yeah, I've been cancelled maybe four or five times. It's, it's part of the job. Right. It's like if I was a boxer complaining about, well, you're going to get hit in the face once in a while. It's, it's going to happen. You, have you ever been hit in the face? Of course I've been hit in the face. Oh. I've, I've had this potty mouth since I was a child. I've been hit in the face a really? lot. Really? Okay. I've said some terrible things to some big guys. You have written a self-help book. Yeah, kind of an autobiography self-help book, yeah. Before and Laughter, a life-changing book. It says in here that you uh, didn't tell a joke until you were 25. So what happened? What changed? I had like a quarter-life crisis. I lost my faith in God and I lost my mother and I pushed the fuck it button. And I thought I would do a rebrand. I thought, well, I'll go and join the circus and become a comedian. So that was your first rebrand. Oh yeah, this is my, this is my second rebrand. And this is your second one. Uh, you mind if I put my feet up? Um, oh yes, go on. It comes from the, that feel, is that bad? No, it's fine. I feel like we're getting on. <clears throat> I feel like we're now both making a power move. We are. Well, I like what you've got here. I wonder what you think is next for me. I've plateaued, how do I go up a gear? Jimmy, I know, and this is why I'm here. I'm about to show you a presentation that will change your life. Huge. Yeah, huge. One second, let me just take my feet off the table. <clears throat> Jimmy Carr. Well, this is, it's already good. That's you. Now, you're very mean. You're a meanie. You're a big meanie. Mean, mean, mean. That's you. You just love to be mean and to be nasty and mean. Are you just saying that because of the bitch face thing? No, I'm just saying it because that's your brand. Your brand is mean. Mean is money, baby. Mean is money. Mean is not money. Mean is mean. And we need to change it. But before we do that, I've got a few mean things that you've said. Sure. And I'd wonder if you could read them out. All right, I'll see if I'll stand by these. All celebrities have plastic surgery these days. Colleen Rooney's had some work on her arsehole. He's had a hair transplant. Well, that was a joke about Wayne Rooney having a hair transplant, which seems a little bit unfair because I've also had a hair transplant, so. That's what I was gonna say. I was like a vampire's accountant. I had this big widow's peak. Yeah. People have to watch me on television. If they're eating their dinner or something, they shouldn't be put off by this massive dome. I saw a thing in the news that said bad drivers are gonna get on the spot 100 pound fines. I thought, that's a bit sexist. <laughs> I mean, I wrote that years ago. I stand by it, that's still funny. You stand by it? Yeah. Apparently the reason Morris dancers wear bells is so that blind people also know that they're 
You weren't meant to say that word at the end. What c oh, I put the asterisk there, just oh, yeah. so you... My girlfriend doesn't like me using the C word. Really, I should learn her mother's name. I've just uh, got a little conclusion here. Self-help guru plus big meanie equals not a match. Uh -uh. Computer says no. Right. Basically, you can't say you're a self-help guru and also be a big meanie. It just doesn't work. Okay. So, we have to get rid of the meanie. We need to suck the mean out of you. And uh, to... I don't think you can say that in the workplace. Yeah, it sounded sexually aggressive. Okay, what about push it out? Hmm, well now it. everything sounds bad. Squish, sque squeeze it out. Squeeze it out? Squeeze it out of you. Okay. We're gonna squeeze the mean out of you, and to do that, you are gonna be mean to me, so all your meanness is gonna go on to me. I'm gonna absorb it. Right. Before we do that though, we'll just swap places because the power shift needs to happen. You're gonna sit here and I'm gonna sit there. Okay, all right. Just uh, What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's quicker. It's the most direct route. It's... it's very Star Trek, your outfit. Star Trek? Yeah. It's Star Trek and, like, you're not even one of the goody aliens. Also, with the eye makeup thing, the... It's a little bit Girls' World, if uh, I'm honest. What? You familiar with the Girls' World? No. It was like It was a toy for kids. It was like a severed girl's head, and it was for doing this kind of clown makeup. It's not Clown example. makeup? Look at the Pat Butcher earrings. There's no need for that. I don't really know where to begin on the blouse. It looks like your nana died and you got left something. Um, it looks like it's... I can smell the mothballs from here. Okay, well, I think that's... I think we've got the meanest out of you now. It's probably the end of it, yeah. That's yeah. the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, that's it. I'll be so fine from here on in. I think that you're going to be nice from now on, really. Do you feel the same? You feel like you got it all out? Yeah. It's a good exercise. Out of interest, how did you get into branding? So this is, this is the set. This is the set of your new show. If I was making sort of casting couch porn, this would be great but it's not really my thing. Or it could be for the, the, the set of your new show. Jimmy Carr, Mr. Nice Guy show. Jimmy Carr's nicest, the, the nicest show ever with Jimmy Carr. The Jimmy Carr Nice Guy show. I'll give it a go. I'll okay, give it a go. your cue cards are just there. Right, yes, thank right? you. Right, okay. I'm really excited for this. I think this is gonna be, this is gonna be epic. Well, hi, I'm Jimmy Carr and welcome to the Nice Guy show. I mean, I don't feel like I really believe that, but okay. Um, my, my first guest is uh, is Dominic. Uh, great to have you here. Thanks, Jimmy. Hey, uh, You've got a story for us, I believe. I've uh, I've had a rebrand, so uh, I'm, I'm just going to listen to the story, and we're going to try and help you uh, without being uh, cruel or dismissive. If you can try, yeah. Cut me a, a a nice slice of you, Dominic. What do you do? I work in construction. You work in construction. Yeah. And yet you've entirely lost your Polish accent. I manage law firms, although I'm between jobs right now. Between jobs? If only there was another term for that. Unemployed. It's unemployed, isn't it? Sadly, it is, yes. Years ago, I was doing something called no fap. So it's just basically when you refrain from releasing your love juice. No fappening happening. No fappening happening. That's what I call Johnson's it. Johnson's not getting touched. And so how long did you keep this up? About a month. It was tricky, but you know, I was pushing for it. Avoiding porn. Um, I decided, Avoiding porn? Yeah. I don't even call it the internet, I call it the pornography. I see, have you been on the pornography? You know you can book train tickets on it as well. I was walking to my local corner shop as I do. On my way, I felt like this splash on my shoulder and I thought, what's that? I noticed that a bird had pooed on my on my jacket. Um, I don't want to say uh, bird shit boy, but... Just, just, more, just maybe one, one positive thing. One positive thing? Just one positive About thing. a bird shit in his hair? It's just the context had changed and you showed your ass to London. Also, I imagine you've got a fine ass. I mean, nothing to be ashamed of. That's a, that's a positive spin, right? I'm just, I'm just dancing, having, enjoying myself. And then I just suddenly felt uncomfortable, head to the toilet, and basically I've released my love juices in my pants. Wow. Yeah. Just out of nowhere. That is, I mean, I've heard of premature ejaculation, but you hadn't even met the girl yet. I mean... That's it's... very premature. Yeah. Your pants like a plasterer's radio. Well, Jimmy, I'm, I'm quite disappointed, actually. I gave you this opportunity to be nice, and you've just been meaner, actually. <laughs> meaner than you ever have been. OK. I mean, I'll take that on board. But, I mean, to give you feedback as well, I think on, on the... We, we don't... I don't need but, feedback. But, I mean, but if we were going to give you feedback, well, what would that sound like? I think it would sound a lot like someone saying, I think you're robbing a living. 
I'm not sure this rebranding thing is real. I'm not sure there's any method in this. It seems cool. like madness. Okay, well... I mean, it feels to me like you're literally stealing money from Channel 4 because what even is this? You have bought a power suit from the 80s and white shoes, but I don't think that qualifies you to rebrand anything. There wasn't time for feedback, actually. There was no feedback option, so I didn't hear any of that. I'm so. just saying, if you were a restaurant and there was a comments card, I would draw a dick on it. Oh, I've, I've got to, I've actually got to go. So, thanks. I've, someone's calling my name. I guess we can put that on in the edit, can we? The person calling your name. Hello? Oh, hi, Channel 4. Yeah, Jimmy's just left. Such a nice guy. A lovely, lovely person. Yeah, I, I really do wish him all the best. Yeah, okay, well, thanks. Right, bye, bye.